they found about out about me at one of the presentations I was giving for AOPA. Um, I had developed this short video with some grant money that AOPA had on um, community uh, airports mm -hmm. and, and why they're important, why they're an economic engine, because city fathers don't get it. They just look at it as a place for rich people's toys. And, that's and our airport commissioner, uh, one of them, had seen me speak and heard, heard the video, and he asked me to come out here and try to help him. So um, I came out, and I met several times with the current airport manager, and, um, and he didn't get it. That not only didn't the airport manager get it, neither did the, the county council and anybody else. So anyway, um, they asked me if I would be interested, and I said, well, um, you know, if there's a vacancy. At the time, there wasn't. Well, a vacancy came up. So I brought them a five-year plan with a budget, and I said, I need five million the first two years to clean this airport up. I said, you've let it go to entire neglect. Um, the common color scheme was rust. The marketing logo was the old county seal that was red and black and you couldn't read it. And I said, you need to do some things. And so that's, that was a challenge for me a challenge that I really wanted to take on. We can capture that, that traffic that we're missing. We can pull them out of the sky because we're expanding our airport to 8,000 foot runway. When that corporate jet center opens, our RFP's out today. When that opens and we have 8,000 uh, foot runway, we can launch Europe, Africa, Middle East from here without going up and getting all the ground holds that you get out of Teterboro, Philly, New York, Boston, because the Northeast Corridor congestion, they'll be able to launch here nonstop and they'll have a new ease of operation. And I know we can bring the traffic in here. It, and, and, and we will have our 8,000 foot runway hopefully starting construction in January, by, by the spring of January 21, which is next year. What that allows is Piedmont right now, since they switched from Dash H's to EMB 145's, they can't go to Charlotte with a full load in the summer. So they have to block 10 seats from May to October, all summer long, because they don't know when it's going to be 90 degrees or higher. They picked up seat capacity, but they didn't pick it up in the summer months, which is their busiest time, because they have to block 10 seats. Once we get our 8,000 foot of runway, they'll be able to operate unrestricted and they just added a new Charlotte leg. They needed more Charlotte legs, and now they're adding one because the winter's coming and they can fill it. So we only get 8% of our air travel tra traffic that lives here. The people who actually fly in and out of this area, we get 8%. Um, Baltimore gets 35%, Philly gets 36%, and, and Dulles, if you can believe it, gets 13%. So we're not even getting what Dulles gets. You drive from down here and then hit the bridge traffic. You have no idea when you're gonna get there. So a lot of people drive up and spend the night before because they get free parking if they leave the car there and spend the night and shuttle over. Oh, I see. So they offset their parking with a free, but now you've added another day to your travel. I think the biggest thing right now is we've gotta educate the Delmarva public that this airport's even here. People don't know it's here. They don't know it has American Airlines flights. Um, our, I put a what this year's ad, which is um, one stop anywhere in the world. So you get to Philly or, or Charlotte, and you can go literally anywhere in the world on, on, on the American Airlines network. We are a regional airport. This is not uh, Salisbury's airport. This is a Delmarva regional airport. We have a, I have a lot of support here. Um, I have spent my first year here talking at every breakfast, every dinner, every business meeting where I could get on the agenda to educate our city fathers and our business leadership the importance of this airport. Don't let it get turned into a shopping center because if you don't develop it now, you might as well shut it down. You're gonna miss, this window's only open now.